I feel like a lot of us, just given our age and experiences this lifetime, we're not raised with a lot of ceremony and celebration, right? We might've had certain things and then other things, as we say, were just kind of swept under the rug and not acknowledged. And one of my main just intentions for creating this particular topic and format and content so far about honorable closure is to make us more aware. Because again, we are freeing ourselves, we are freeing energy, we are feeling lighter when we open to closing the things, not giving as much energy toward the things, people, whatever has been in the past in the heavy sense, right? The draining stuff, whatever has been toxic for us, we're not giving that energy or we cut those kinds of connections. We refuel our refuel ourselves. We bring back our power. And again, we create more peace. And that is huge. That is so huge for this experience of what is healthy and necessary honorable closure. I know that my life has changed since I've been doing more ceremony and honoring things even as I go and anticipating kinds of closure and things that are ending in my life. I am not the child I was that wasn't able to have that expression and really felt, you know, like over and over again, I was regretting or just feeling the guilt or the heavy energies. And I have so much more less of that now because of these practices and honoring seasons, right? So that's a good thing with shamanic work, therapeutic work that we recognize, oh, that was a big deal for you. Let's mark that. Let's honor that in some way. And let's not maybe give it the energy or have it drain us anymore. So that again, we're healthier, more joy-filled beings who have more ease in their life and just have more health all around. So blessings on your journey. Thanks for listening.